everyone. My name is Motoko and I am a storyteller and teaching artist, originally from Japan and now based in Massachusetts. I grew up doing origami and I love it. I also love geometry. Hence, my origami geometry got the right angle for elementary and middle school students now available face-to-face -face and virtually. Origami geometry is available as a one-time workshop, a multi-day residency, and as a professional development for teachers. I have done this program in K-8 through schools in Connecticut and Massachusetts for the past 10 years, and I am now excited to offer the virtual version. This program aims to advance students' knowledge of geometry and skills in spatial reasoning. Students will follow my age-appropriate, step-by-step guidance and create two- and three-dimensional origami objects, analyze their geometrical attributes, and solve mathematical problems. They will experience origami both as a fun and imaginative art form and as a modern practice with mathematical applications and explore how science and art are interconnected. In classrooms, as safety rules allow, students may work in pairs and in small groups to help and encourage one another. They acquire patience and a positive attitude toward challenges and nurture among themselves a culture of kindness. The online version includes live virtual sessions and pre-recorded instructional videos. Google Forms and Flipgrid may be used to facilitate sharing ideas and questions. Here is a bonus clip for making an origami heart. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for your time and I look forward to working with you. The first thing to do is we must figure out the center point of this square shape with origami that is easy to do. You must put the paper white side up, find one corner, find the opposite corner, put them together and fold into a mountain. Then you are going to take this sharp corner at the bottom of the mountain and this other sharp corner and put them together and fold the mountain in half. Then you are going to open up the whole paper and you see the X. Where the, the X crosses is the center of the paper, right? you're going to mark it very lightly. Okay? Then put the paper in front of you this way. Take the top corner and bring it down to the middle. Like this. Okay. Then you're going to take the bottom corner and bring it up, but not to the middle but to the very top. Try not to poke out like that. It should be just like this, without poking out. Okay. Then you can still see the center crease here, right? Using that line, you're going to bring this to here. Like this. Then you are going to do the same thing on the other side to achieve symmetry. Okay. Now does this look like a heart? It does, but you notice that these, this heart has these sharp corners, which we don't want. So you're going to take this sharp corner and fold it back just a little bit so that it won't be so uh, quite as sharp. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. 
Also, it has these two sharp corners on the side, on either side. You would do the same thing for each corner. So, from the back, looks like this. From the front, it's a heart. It opens up. So, if you like, you can put a special love message inside. Okay. And there's your heart. 